I was very, very busy on the off season. We went on a family holiday to, to Lapland to see Father Christmas with the, with the kids, which was lovely. Carried on with my coaching badges. Started training in January with Chelsea under 23s. They was kind enough to let me in and tick over and playing a bit of football with, with, with them guys, which was a real help coming into the new season. So I've been very, very busy. I did some um, TV punditry with various channels, which was, which was fun. Uh, talking about football, watching football, analysing, and uh, really enjoyed that. It was a good promotion for the Rowdies, you know, people were asking how's it going over there, and, um, and, then, and the, the, the television channels liked having a, a, different, a different viewpoint, a different perspective on it, so I think everyone, it, it went well on all accounts, and something in the future that, might, that, that may interest me, uh, we will just see how that goes. Being still a player, you've still got a player's mentality, so the criticising of friends, you know, obviously some, I'm watching some, some, some of my friends play. Luckily enough, they all had good games. I wouldn't hold it against any commentators highlighting my mistakes of this season because it's their job. They've got to tell the people, you know, what, what's happening and, and why it's happening. So, um, yeah, it's an eye-opener. It's seeing football from a different angle, which has been very good. I've not done social media. Um, from, I don't know why, really, just maybe a, a bit old school, but going into that television and media side of things, it's a massive part of it now, so it was encouraged to me, but I'll stick with Instagram for now, and, uh, and it's a way of communicating. Um, yeah, but it's, I'm, I'm learning. Hopefully in a six months to a year's time, I'll, I'll master how to use it. <laughs>